Hello Mako Madness fans, this is Dan checking in once again from the Mako construction site. It's only been a day, but believe it or not, there is actually more construction, so let's check it out. It looks like we're just about ready to place another piece of track, and this is the one that was in our update yesterday, so this is going to be a big section of track right here. Guy's coming off of it right now, so we should be going into the air. Now, as we can see, the big focus and all the work that's been done in even just a day, check that out. I mean, literally they put up about four or five pieces of track and a couple more giant supports. So that track piece that we just saw is going to be going up to the top right there. And this thing is going to be absolutely massive by the end of the day. Yesterday I saw a couple of the crew members uh, going around on this man lift with a torque wrench and it looks like they're continuing to do it today trying to get all the bolts as tight as they can by hand torquing it down literally putting as much effort as they can in there to try to get it tight even at the speed hill they're doing the same thing torquing down all the bolts you can see right there one of the guys with that big old torque wrench Good and tight. As we can see, this track piece is just about to go into the air. Again, going to be going up to that tall support way up there. And half of the first airtime hill will be complete. One way these guys are building so much track so quickly is that they're using the big crane to actually hoist two pieces at a time. So they did this two piece right here, another two piece probably right there, and another two piece right there. There we have a couple of the guys in the lift about to go up so that they can join the track and support. What do you think guys? Is it level? When it comes down to a game of millimeters and inches, you gotta be perfect. Now what this guy is doing right here is after they torque down all the bolts, they actually put a little bit of paint on each of the screws and nuts to make sure that it lines up. So whenever they do their checks later on in the season, years after, whatever, if they notice that that line across both the bolt and the nut is not the same, then obviously it's something not right. And that's exactly what he's doing right there. And again, just like yesterday, even more supports are on their way inside the construction site. These guys are working at a very feverish pace right now. I'm sure they want to get this done as soon as they can. Hey, 
And here we go. Track is going in the air. Again, so close yet so far away. Game of inches. And just like that, looks like we're in. Crews are putting in some of the bolts right now to secure the piece of track. And in goes one of the spikes. And these spikes are actually removed at some point when they get all the rest of the other bolts in. This is only just to secure the pieces in place while they uh, try to line everything else up wise. Just makes it a hell of a lot easier. Now that the lift moved out of the way, we can see both sides have those spikes in there. And the bolts are coming in right now. like Spider-Man, only a hundred and some feet in the air on roller coaster track. And it's time to torque down the bolts, of course. Teamwork makes the dream work. While crews are busy placing the two pieces together, we have up at the very top where the track actually connects to a support, they're only a couple inches away. So they do this so they can get all the bolts in and everything else like that and line it up and then it just makes uh, placing the very top that much easier. And the guys that were in the basket are now up to the very top. They're gonna secure that last little bit of track to the support and then they're probably gonna be done for the day. There we can see all the bolts are in for that piece of track at the bottom and the spikes have been removed.
Now this is a new one for me. Those side skirts that are on the piece of track uh, has a whole bunch of different bolts and I've never seen them do this before actually. But they took it off and now they're using this kind of winch to try to put the pieces closer together. I never knew that's what it was for. I always thought it was just kind of a support brace or something like that. Unless it is and they're just repurposing. I don't know. Well guys, that is going to do it for another Mako construction update. As we saw, crews have placed roughly about six pieces of the track and a whole mess of new supports just in the last 24 hours. So these guys are determined to get this thing done. As we see, half of the first parabola hill is in and half of one of the other ones is in as well. It's starting to look really, really good. And I also want to say thank you to all of our viewers and subscribers. It was another big day for us. We hit 1,000 subscribers on our YouTube and 100,000 views as well. So if you like what we do, continue following us on Instagram, our Facebook, and our YouTube page at Mako Madness. And I will see you out on the Midway.